Why, hello there, I'm Myrtle. How are you? I swear you look younger every time I see you. Is that, is that L'Oreal? Well, you're worth it. Is that my cousin Andrew out there? Andrew, you get taller every time I see you, like two inches taller. taller. Bless, your heart, oh, bless your heart. And Daryl, you trying out for the football team? Well, it's okay if you didn't make it. You always need a new uh, tuba play in the band. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dad. Glad to see you're taking the host duties from Grandma this year. Well, if it isn't my proverbial prodigal son, Donald. <laughs> Why? Well, I wouldn't say that uh, taking a job as a comptroller in Charlotte is quite the same as setting off for a distant country and squandering my wealth in wild living. Well, I'm sure it's very easy to uh, do wild living in the big city, uh, not here in Hendersonville. <laughs> but uh, being a prodigal son, I guess it's a, uh, more of a state of mind. Yeah, that's true, man, that's true. But uh, if you're listening to your Baptist prayer group, I'd say I'm definitely a greater sinner. Now, if you're comparing it to my older brother, uh, where is Richie anyways? Somewhere around here, probably uh, trying to get money from the Virginia side of the family. Uh, have one of them half big schemes that he has cooked up. You know Richard, yeah, he always has a name. Yeah, that definitely sounds like Richie. Talk the year off the stock of corn and turn the pants off a scarecrow. I'm gonna get some food to tie me over. You know, it's funny, you always got the same type of dishes at these family reunions. Um, let's see, five different types of chicken. We got Bojangles, Churches, KFC, <laughs> well, it looks like it's deli chicken from the Piggly Wiggly. And I could be wrong, but I think that might be shake and I didn't know we had any Yankees that married into the family. Yeah, he must be that older Wickersham boy. He married that girl from uh, uh, Orlando. And yeah, that's surprising. It's sort of not considered the part of the South. Not outside of Tallahassee and Jacksonville. Yeah. Ain't all the Daytona during spring break. Huh. Oh, God, I know Winnie's out there. And she's bringing her barrel of kids. <laughs> <laughs> I better head them off. Uh, before they get up with Jack and his emotional support dog. That's <laughs> his emotional support dog? That tiny little wiener dog? Yeah, who would have got him a dachshund? I thought he was a cowboy. Well, you know that line, uh, get along, little doggy? <laughs> <laughs> well, after that terrible note, I'll leave you to uh, pontificate uh, on the four types of potato salad that you want. Oh, wait a you seen that, Addy? She's known to hear about your kids. I know, so I really appreciate y'all giving me your support this year. I promise that I'll get that church hall deposit in before the start of the fiscal quarter, and that I'll have that balance sheet available online when we send out that annual newsletter. Just remember and tell everyone, vote for RC in 2023. <laughs> Shoot, little Dottie, is that my little bib sweet brother? Come here, buddy. Oh man, oh, I haven't seen you in ages. Where's your question? The gargantuan older brother. <laughs> Two questions. Hold on. Is the first one how I look this good? <laughs> I guess that makes three questions. Uh, although I'm sure that the first one can be answered by you not owning a mirror, or by recessive genes, or by an appalling lack of fashion sense or good taste. Donnie boy, you always remind me again about your quick grip, little bro. Let me tell you what, it's good to have you back. Family reunion. Ah. So my two questions. One, RC? Like the toy car or the soda can? Or? Well, I mean, either way, however it takes to get the folks to remember my name. Right, that leads me to my next question. Uh, you want people to remember your name, and you want them to vote for you for... Treasure. That is right. <laughs> I will be the treasurer of the annual Cunningham Family Reunion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real position, as in there are elections and people vote for it and there are offices and responsibilities. Oh, absolutely. I mean, every family that attends the reunion has to pay their dues. I do not know about this. What, what, how long has this been going on? Well, let's think here. This is the 34th year they've had the reunion, and they set up the LLC back in 1989. So there's a corporation, and this business has been going on for almost... 30 years, and it's a pretty lucrative business, let me tell you what, little brother. You see here, there's a trust fund that pays out a fixed annuity, five figures in the bank, and an annual salary for all the officers. Salary? Well, yeah. I mean, it's only a few hundred dollars a piece, but it's more of a trustee payment, really. 
It's not all that bad. You're running for treasurer, Richard. You. <laughs> you. Yes, me, Doc. Now listen, what's wrong? Why are you acting all surprised all of a sudden? I guess I am a bit surprised. I mean, to be honest, I never pictured you as the uh, responsible type. Hey, I'm responsible, all right? I mean, I am your older brother. You know anything about accounting? I distinctly remember you failing math in high school. Oh, come on now. That was just a couple of semesters. I didn't flunk the whole course. All right, do you know how to keep a ledger? Well, I've never even seen you balance a checkbook. Or he done, he done, 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 done. Own a checkbook. Do you have a bank account? Little brother, it is all in the quicks books these days. You just simply point and click, drag and drop. I mean, our cousin Louie has been acting as the family treasurer for the past few years. And Louie's an idiot. <laughs> I mean, come on now, Donnie. If he can do the job, well, I sure as heck can. I have some truly good ideas for investments so we can really grow out the trust fund money. I'm sure you do, Richie. I'm sure you do. Little brother, in a few years here, I think we could really expand this whole operation. Make it more upscale, more high class, bring in some caterers and some white linen tablecloths, move into a bigger hall, maybe even the Hampton Inn Event Center. Heck, we could even look into paying some kind of travel stipend to bring in folks from Tennessee and Georgia. Well, I really thought of everything, haven't you? But uh, answer me this, how are you going to pay for everything? Three simple letters, standing boy. ROI. That is, return on investment. Oh, but ROI stands for, I just <laughs> don't know what kind of investments would give you that kind of return in just a few years. Oh, don't you worry about a thing, little brother. I got plans. Some big plans. <laughs> you always have plans, big brother. And the uh, thing is, you've never actually put in the work to make them a reality. All right, well, listen, look here, little Dom. Election's coming in about half an hour. Let's just go ahead and cut the chase. Can I have your vote? Think it over. <laughs> You'll think it over? You know what, Tom? That's fine. You just go ahead and think, 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 think. Well, here's something I'm thinking about, all right? How about the guy that's never had the time for family? The guy who doesn't give a lick about family, okay? And he's going to show up and show everybody just how truly and deeply he cares about casting a vote against his own brother. That's great, Donnie. That's real great. All right, well, if you weren't such a screw-up, it would all... <laughs> a screw-up? <laughs> Me? Whew, that is rich coming from you, little brother. How about this? You got no wife, no kids, no family, no home, no life outside of your boring big city job. That's not fair. I got a life. I got friends. Yeah? Yeah. You're close friends, Donnie? Let me tell you what. Get close enough so you bring them back home? Yeah, that's what I thought. So. But okay, little brother, that's fine. You just do whatever. You do you. You think. But you know what? If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go see if I can gather up some folks to support me and my cause. People who might consider themselves actually fat. Ooh. <laughs> yep. Hey, Bill! Nancy! I'm so glad y'all could make it! Now, Nancy, who is that with you? Your sister? Kimberly, your daughter. Oh, my goodness, sweetie. Look how much you've grown. Come on over here, y'all. Let's get you situated. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Somebody actually brought a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> you gonna be okay? What? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Dad. I'm fine. It's just... You know, Richie, you can be some... We're so different. And... So I don't know exactly what you mean. No. It's uh, astonishing. Uh, you have two kids in the same household, raised by the same two parents. And uh, for Christmas, we used to try to buy you guys the same presents and uh, make sure you always have the same food. And, for your birthday, we used to try to make sure you have the same cake. Yeah, chocolate cake with the uh, double fudge chocolate ice. You know, uh, you have kids and you see so much of yourself in them. But uh, through time, you start to realize just uh, how different they really are. That's the world, Dad. That's every human being in existence. We're all different and yet we're all the same. That's the way things go. There is my son, the uh, philosopher. You go ahead and 
gonna be okay. So, so now, when the election comes up, who are you voting for? I can't vote for my brother, but I can't see a way that I can just vote against him. So, it's like I said, I don't know. Maybe I'll abstain. <laughs> I'm gonna go make sure the table has sweet tea. I don't want to start a riot at the family reunion. Yeah, yeah, you do that, Dad. Go make Grandma proud. Be your host. Ah, <laughs> uh, I will, and uh, Donna. I love you. Love you too. Stay in there. Put the color down. My <laughs> tan. <laughs> yeah. Just don't know which one I'm gonna go. The uh, German potato salad or the yellow mustard base? <laughs> what is that? Oh, coleslaw. All right, all right. Love me some sweet and sour South Carolina coleslaw.